what they're doing reminds me of a great Zulu warrior in a circle surrounded by onlookers. And he's just slaughtered his 115th victim in a one-on-one -on -one match. And the trainer for the opposition is saying, Quit being such a wet fucking pussy, huh? Get in the fucking ring, huh? And a bigger guy is like, don't look at me. You know, people in the crowd are like, you're big, get in there. We want to see some action. Don't look at me. You know, then they look at this, this shorter guy with a kind of a twig, you know, looking spear. When the Zulu guy has a big, ferocious, deadly, dangerous looking spear with a big spearhead. It's like, not I, <laughs> not I. And then one of the more proud trainers starts making excuses. Well, this, that, or the other thing. And how about, how about this? How about that? And some Irish guys are like, oh, that's a crock of shite. And another Irish guy starts getting mad and starts looking at, you know, the potential challengers and says, quit being such a pussy, laddie. Get in the ring. And the announcer you know, the, the ancient version of an announcer. Saying, Horus that made them hard. Big Mac Lock. That reminds me of, you know, I mean, how long... Do they think they're going to fucking fool fucking less than 0.0001% of the population? <laughs> you know? Eventually, they're going to come around and say, you know what? We know we're dumbed down fucking sheep. But come on, man. Come on. This guy has so many witnesses. I mean, even someone who's deaf, dumb, and blind knows you're a bunch of cheating pussies. Even though you've drugged that Zulu warrior, you can't beat him. Even though you've slowed him down, you can't beat him. It's the same thing with this, they're slowing down my videos, you know? It's like, come on, man. You expect us to believe your government nonsensical psychiatry shrink point of view? <laughs> you electroshock therapy doing fucking foster children drugging pieces of shit? <laughs> Anything you have to say automatically is, well, that's a crock of shite! <laughs> I call bullshit. <laughs> Pussies. Oh, and then there's my favorite. We are not afraid of you. <laughs> Before I get into the clips that show that they're slowing down my videos still, and the ones in the past, keep in mind that they are drug pushing scum using the color of law to force Medicaid, covertly drug and find any way they can and any group they can to market their pharmaceuticals too. Here on the screen you see the last two women I asked, you know, and you can imagine that after I've asked dozens of women over the years, that I've gotten about an eight average. So it's established that I'm well above the average guy. The average guy isn't necessarily an ugly guy, the average looking guy. So when you get an eight as a man, you're a good looking man. So I am tall, dark, and handsome. That is factual. The research proves that. The facts align with that. I'm the top martial artist. They're hiding like ninnies, scared because of the last, the last challenger was very good and he was defeated 10-0. And so they're like, well, we're not going to try it. You know, think about that. Think about what this means for the admiration of potential wives that was lost. The potential for economic advancement, which I could have used to save a lot of people and change the world in a positive, uncontrolled manner. Think about it. Think about how low they are for what they've done. So this first one looks more like it looks when I upload it. Because of the drug and the fuming, um, right before I upload. I've talked extra shit. I was heavily, again, heavily again. fumed in this. I have three fans going. Um, two next door and one in my room. And it was, there was a lot of fumes. So anyway. 
It really messes my brain. I am horse the transcendent. Heru that made them hide. August 10th, TikTok. Pussies. Keep in mind I was fumed heavily. I am Horace the Transcendent. Heru that made them hide. August 10th, TikTok. Pussies. What? Oh man, yeah. fumed by cowards that I could easily conquer. In the second clip, the sissy ass cops think they're tough because they have a badge and a vest. Anyway. here if I change anything it would say do you want to save changes but I didn't change anything so it goes right back to the fucking because of the drug and the fuming uh, I've talked extra shit I was heavily heavily fumed in this I have three fans going um, two next door and one in my room and it was there was a lot of fumes so anyway it really messed with my breathing I am horse the transcendent Heru that made them hide I want you all to go back to the start of this video. Compare this combo, which is the same one as the one in the beginning. You'll see that this one is dramatically slowed down. It's not, it's not like half speed or something, but it's enough to where you're you're just like, well, that's that's an average black belt kind of routine. Instead of that's the top martial artist. Keep in mind I was fumed heavily. I am Horace the Transcendent. Heru that made them hide. August 10th, TikTok. Pussies. that I could easily conquer. At the start. The sissy ass cops think they're tough because they have a badge and a vest. Anyway. screen right the screen is almost exactly the same size there's a little bit difference but you know that's not it and the bigger it is the better it is usually I'm going to 
Yeah. Nothing like the first one. I caught him once again sitting down. But this is consistent now. They've been doing this for months now. I remember when I first noticed it, I thought I was tripping. And I noticed it, you know, probably over a year ago, actually. Nine witnesses. You're a bunch of bitches. She knows, pussy. Not enough I caught them fuming me, gassing me, you know, hijacking my phone, cheating. So let's go, um, let's go here. Let's kind of go over this and show you how much they're cheating. This interview I talk about, you know, someone who's known me the best in the last 14 years says I'm extremely normal. And I'm sure anyone with a brain could see that. And I'm mad for good reasons when I get mad. Just like any other political dissident, I show emotion when I'm talking about, you know, issues, especially racial issues and religious issues. No question to why that is. Um, this is that same person, and she says that, oh, you know, she's with me. She notices one stalker harassing me, and she's the one who points out, you know, that they're doing it. Matter of fact, let's play this clip real quick. This is the government license plate of the guy in the parking lot. So this is going to probably come out sideways. I'll probably have to flip it. This is before the, the editor. We're talking or, later. The editor on YouTube. It's not that anyway, this is from some months back. Um, I referenced this video in one of my videos. It's about it's how the female that I was with I noticed the gang stalkers as well. Uh, a, a gang stalker as well, government gang stalker. And, you know... I brought it up when I saw, I said, is that the guy who was talking to you inside before she said anything about it, you know, being strange or anything like that? And she was like, yeah. I said, look at his license plate. It's the government's license Watch. Yeah, he's like, almost oh like, I almost fell for it. What do you say? So I took the gang stalker. Oh my gosh! No, but you don't understand though. He like went out of his way trying to talk to us. Did you notice that? I'm recording by now, so I can get on record. Oh my god! Oh my god! I almost fell for it. I already knew what it was, but I almost fell for it. And then at the back of my head, I was thinking, how does he know you're not my boyfriend? Like, you don't understand why the fuck is he talking? You know, how does he know we're not your family? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. See, that's that's what they do. So she right away, she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, right away. Boom. You know, and later on, she's like, yeah, I didn't know what to think about what you're telling me. But when I saw it for myself, it was undeniable that it was deliberate. And it was for the psychological effect that it has on you. Now, um, it's the Annabelle interviews. I don't have enough time to play clips from all these things. So I'll just go through it. She's admitting that she was told. This is the original, I, I believe, that where she admits that she was told to get me hospitalized, you know, provoke me to act up so that the cops come and get, you know, 5150 me and take me to the psych ward. This is the interviews where this guy says that he, he came across my videos by noticing that they were going out of their way to target me, to troll me in the news comments. And after following my videos for a while, he sees it my way. So he witnessed the aspect of them trolling me disproportionately out of everyone in the comments. And there's a lot of regulars in the news comments. This uh, is a female who I bust as a gang stalker, you know, and I show you the different pictures and how there's pictures that look just like her on Tinder, just like the one she sent me. You know, let me just show you a brief clip from that. I'm running out of time. I'm on Tinder, right? Okay, these are the pictures that look like her on Tinder. Let me see if I... 
And these are the pictures that she sent me on uh, Kick. You see that? Look at that. That's that's Kick. It's Tinder. You see the see the resemblance? In fact, excuse me. This this is Tinder. This is the Kick. There we go. That's a more, that's a more dramatic example. That's the Tinder. You see, this is the Kick. Okay. She admits that she was told to give me a hard time and that she was chosen because supposedly she knows how to make me tick. And that's the one where she admits that. This is the interview with the police and the family admits that they you know, that two members of the family say that the police tried to deliberately drive her off the road. And it all began when she helped me with my videos. They broke into her house. The cops broke into her house. She did an interview about that. Then they try to run her off the road with five kids in the car. Is my mom verifying that in my room there, there's fumes and she feels it in her chest and that she thinks I should sleep in my little brother's room because it's that bad and that his room was much better. And his room was right next door to mine. It's on the other side of this wall right here. This is um, a compilation that has the cops admitting it's real. This is... Um, the, the test, you know, I had a test uh, subject. She had, um, I believe, a root beer and something else. A root beer, strawberry crush, and a ginger ale that wasn't drugged. She identified that the ginger ale was not drugged, and the root beer and the strawberry crush were drugged, and she laid down and, you know, fell asleep. I have a clip of her. She lays down, and she says, yeah, it, it was the root beer that made me drowsy, you know. And she has the same symptoms that I described, and I've recorded those symptoms in my latest video. In fact, I'll put them in the comments of this video, too. You know, this is where she rules out the ginger ale placebo, and so on. This is um, her saying that there's fumes in the car, and then we, you know, she, first she thinks it might be oil or gas, and then we both agree that it couldn't be. Um, this is another video where they're slowing down. I have a couple of videos. Besides this one, they prove that they're slowing down my videos. It's not enough for them to fume and gas me. Um, this is this one is a very dramatic one where the playback is so off that me keying up for my strikes, you know, happens before the strikes or after. Or there's there's a significant delay between the two, and you see that it's not on my phone. You know, this is my mom. Uh, saying yes there's fumes in the car it's a thick tarry kind of smell you know and they're they even trying to play it off like it's in my head or something but now you have two witnesses for the car and other than myself which is three people and one from our room other than myself okay um, this is hijacking you know I believe this is yeah three different hijacking videos there's more and it's hard for me to find them because the other ones are added to the ends of my videos you know, so I'll have like a martial art demonstration, and then I'll have a clip. So, you know, scattered around, there's probably about six or seven of them. And um, let me just, let me end with this one of these clips. Uh, gay, okay. This one is probably the most damning one. So I made it smaller so you can see. Watch the keys get struck. First the A was struck, right? You saw the A come up. You saw the S, the S was struck. Watch, watch the keyboard on the phone. Watch the keyboard. You can type in whole words. The S was struck. There's A, S, and then they went to something else. As if they were trying to click on a female, like she's got some ass or something, right? Then they went back to the screen and clicked the last S. You know, there's no way that that's a glitch. I mean, Google, I'll put, I'll put a phone hijacking description in the comments. You'll see that, yes, that was remotely done. Absolutely. And you can see I'm outside. They had to have neighbors or watching with cameras or something because I don't have service on my phone inside. I have to go outside on the hill to have service. Thank you.